as a new programmer. You are learning to code and you are so eager to see how the code snippets work. Or you are already a programmer and you are trying to debug some situations but you seem stranded. Have you ever been in this circle? What's the fastest teacher you could use to teach you? Let me introduce you to a new guy that can help you out in situations like this. Welcome once again to Tech Mastery Hub. My name is Oladeji. Tech Mastery Hub is that channel where we teach you basic things about um, coding, data analysis, you know, and all such code crafts. Now join me on this journey. Okay, now let's look at a scenario. You are learning data analysis, and um, here Python is being introduced. But you are still being taken through the basics. If you are someone like me, you will be so eager to see the codes of Python, how it works. And um, your teacher is not in a hurry, and you quickly want to see it. Now I'm going to introduce you to a guy that will bail you out in such a situation and quickly show you snippets of how the codes can be. His name is ChatGPT. There are many AIs in the world today that we could use for things like this. But today I will specifically show you my screen and how to use ChatGPT specifically, you know, on how to teach you a new programming language. I will also show you how you can use ChatGPT to debug errors. There are other AIs, like I said, but that is the main thing we want to focus on today. Now let's go there. So now that I've opened my ChatGPT, chat.openai.com, I want to use it as my guide, my teacher, to learning Python, for example. So I'll type my prompt here. Hi, Chad GPT. I want you to give me a heads up on starting with Python. I'm new to programming. So I ask, like chatting with a friend, and I watch Chad GPT give me a guide on how to go about this. Now you can see it typing so quickly, and here you see now it has finished generating the response. Let's go back up and look. Now what ChatGPT has done for me is since I said it head up, it's given me a step-by-step -step guide on how I can go about it, okay, verbally. But now, since I'm eager to see what a Python code looks like, I'm going to say, show me with sample codes the basics to learn as a starter. I put this in and watch the GPT generate the response for me. Now, as you can see how fast it's typing, it's still generating. That's why we're having this here. Okay, now it's done. I'll go back up and see. Hello world. It's an example. Here's the code. Variables and data types. Here are the code example. Basic mathematics. You no know, conditional statements. The loops. So now with each basic introduction to Python, it's giving me a code example and how to handle them. As you can see. Now, I'm not satisfied, so I can say, show me sample codes as related to data training in data analysis okay. watch and it guides me again you can see while it's typing I can actually go back up and start reading what it's teaching me it started by showing me how I can remove duplicates you know sample codes what you import here are usually libraries so you can see and then now the good thing about this is apart from just reading and you know you are free to query what you're reading ask questions you get it ask questions for example i come back here 
and I copy this code okay and I say this code is not clear to me I paste the code okay and watch it explain it to me line by line you can see so whatever you ask again let's do something since it mentioned i'm numpy i'll say teach me the basics of numpy like i am a four year old okay numpy is a library in python Okay, so watch. So when you say as if I'm a child, it's going to go on and make very simple illustrations in explaining all that to you. You can see the volume of text that has been generated in teaching me by just a few questions. So this is how chat GPT work. And you can actually use it for much more things. Take advantage of this. So in a similar way, Another tool we could use is what we call the black box. How do we use black box? For example, I'm using my VS code, you know, and I'm, I'm working with Laravel codes here. Now, what I'm going to do is it's a plugin on VS code, for example, which I've installed. So I click here to open my black box. Um, let's use this part of it, which is this. So I'm copying a chunk of my code. Maybe it's generated an error. It's not clear to me. And I'll chat with black box. Now I've pasted the code here. And I say, this code gave an error. Debug for me. I put it in and watch black box do its thing okay i can see that it's generating an explanation and reconstruction of the code and the way it understands now if this is not satisfactory all i need to do is just you know guide it better on whatever the error i got was you know and um, it may gives me a heads up so these are some of um, the samples of ai that can help us today as um programmers so guys that's how it works as you can see ai is your code whisperer it is your reliable assistant anytime any day be it debugging a situation um, that assistant that you need to be writing another model of a code for you while you are working on something else or that guy to quickly teach you a, a, a new programming language entirely do documentations for you whatever it is just know how to write the prompt properly and let chat GPT or any of these AIs be your assistant. Thank you for joining me once again. I remain your guy, Oladeji. If you have enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to our channel, like and share.